SEO Trot by Roald Dahr, five stars. I just finished reading this to my kids at bedtime and we enjoyed reading the magic tortoise words. A rare book of cunning device by Ben Aronovich, three stars. This was a free audio book and a Peter Grant short story. It was good, but it felt like it didn't really finish. Like it was a spare thought left over from one of his novels. Sweethearts of Ilford Lane by Fazana Hakim five stars. Recap. Samina and Hassan, childhood sweethearts when they shouldn't have been, are ripped apart by grief and destroyed by family. Review. Oh my goodness. I read this book in a day because I couldn't put it down. I was equally horrified and transfixed by the abuse Samina endured, endeared by and repulsed at the family love and dynamics. The last part of the book had me sobbing my heart out. A fabulous debut novel. The Collapsing Empire by John Scalzi, three stars. Recap, the old Emperox has died. There's unrest on end and something's up with the flow. Review, it took me a while to get into this book because I didn't really connect with any of the characters and so wasn't that invested in finding out what happened to them. I did enjoy the scientific mix up and the resulting fallout. Dividance by Jay McLean, five stars. Recap, Tag starts seeing shadows and they're not happy about it. Review. An ordinary teenager's life gets turned upside down when he becomes tuned into the supernatural world around him. There's so much life in this book as different characters deal with their grief and teenagers deal with love, loss, school life, family life, bullying and pain in the neck teachers. It fits firmly into its YA fantasy genre and has an interesting cast of characters. I read the whole thing in one sitting and at times my heart was thumping in my chest. Let's hope McLean returns to the world of the Vidants. Stone of the Sea by Jeanette O'Hagan, four stars. Spoiler alert. Recap. Siblings Delvina and Retza have to make difficult choices in order to try and save their people. Review. Obviously, with book three, we are well acquainted with our favorite characters and the unrequited love story is a nice touch. It was inevitable that the twins would separate eventually, but they didn't seem to get very far with their respective quests or jobs. This does feel a little bit like a filler book story-wise, as not much advances, but we do learn more about the other races in this fantasy realm.